I'm going to show you a cool way of picking colors using the Adobe Cooler site. That's K-U-L-E-R dot Adobe dot com. Don't put it in a www because it won't work. You should create a an Adobe ID for yourself. You see that I'm signed in. You do want to sign in because that will let you create custom colors and save them for yourself. You can choose to make them public or not. Usually I make mine private. I think it's a lot of fun to create a color scheme from an image. This is one that I've recently uploaded. You can just hit upload and pick what you want. It's a picture that I took when I was at Blarney in Ireland. So this is the castle with the Blarney stone. Yes, I kissed the stone while I was there. So we're going to go ahead and give it a title of Blarney. And you can choose which colors it's picking up on by moving the circle around your page. So you can pick which ones you want. So maybe I don't want this gray here. I might, that's bluer. Let's see, that's changing the white one over there. And that's changing the gray one. Let's say that I want something from the castle. And I can pick up any shade that I want. So I could pick up that. I could go a little bit more yellowish, brownish gold into the trees here. In any case, I can pick a set of colors and I can start there. Then I can save it. And I can make some changes to this in another way. Now these are my themes. I've got a bunch of various things I've been working on here. And you can get into any of these and edit them by selecting it and making you can click here to make the theme and view color values. So there's different ways I can go with this color set. Right now it's a custom set, but I can pick whatever base color I like. Let's say I just really like this shade. I'm going to set it as the base, and then I can check various rules from that color. And you can see that it's going to work through the various color rules, giving me sets of color. And you can also customize these. So if you get something close, let's say I like this one, and then I'm going to switch to custom. These two colors to me are too close, so let's pick this one. And let's do something slightly different with it. That would be a good background shade. Now I can save this, again as Blarney. And I have the option of adding it to my favorites. I can download it as a swatch exchange file, which is great if you're working with Photoshop for doing any sort of logos. And I can get the codes here. Now for me, this is the most important part. Often, well when you're, always, when you're programming, you're either going to be working with your RGB, red, green, blue color mixes, or your hex decimal codes. And I don't have those memorized. I work from here and then I will do a print screen of just this image. I'm using Jing and Jing will let me grab what I want here so I can just save a copy of this. Now Jing is free and I put it in your links as something that you can use and I can capture this image and then I can save it and I'll call it Blarney Colors. And that's what you need to hand in. You need to pick a set of colors and you'll use some of these colors on your first assignment because you're going to be creating a hand-coded web page using text and I expect you to use two or three of the colors that you hand in on this one. So pick a color theme that you like and make sure that you have it saved so you can get back and use your hexadecimal or RGB colors because those are the ones you'll need for internet programming.